<laughs> we're, we're having our own hurricane girl talk in here still. Yes. Um, but let's move on to what's going on in the weather. Earlier we told you about tropical storm Isaac building up, and it's not the only one on the horizon. We've got over a month left in the a month over a month. What if a month started in? Where are we? Where are we? In September. We have October, October, October November. Mm -hmm. Right. So two months um, left in the hurricane season. Jody said, when you see Evan, you know you got to start preparations, or at least start thinking about it. He <laughs> says no. We're happy to hear that. <laughs> Director of the Met Service um, Division, Evan Thompson, is here. Our go-to guy. Hi, Evan. Going on Good morning. Good morning. Um, apologies for the discussion that's going on. <laughs> I know you're finding it quite <laughs> hilarious, but... Um, Evan, what is going on out there? Lots of systems, lots yeah, of... Yeah, so clearly there's a new <coughs> norm that's, that's developing. We're not seeing one or even two hurricanes yeah. in the sea basin anymore. We're seeing three. Um, and that happened last year. Again, we're seeing three with Florence and Helene. And yeah, we're talking girl talk, but mm -hmm. the only one that we're thinking of that might be a threat to us is not one of the girls, but... but I the man-man, mm -hmm. the man-man. <laughs> yeah. Isaac I man. see a lot of people on social saying this looks dangerous. What are we to make of Isaac? Um, I think maybe we're making a little bit more of Isaac than we need to at this point in time because the system is still very far from any land area. It's mm -hmm. still about two days from getting to the Lesser Antilles. Um, so it's still early days. Mm -hmm. Still early days getting into the system because it is moving closer to the Caribbean, yes. Right. right now, it is a tropical storm. It's no longer a hurricane, but there is still the possibility of it strengthening once again before um, before it gets to the Eastern Caribbean chain. Okay, I'm not sure which one is that that um, Unique is putting up. Unique, do we have the trajectory for Isaac? For Isaac. Which we're just talking about because I've seen some. Well, those are the three systems over the waters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've seen one since this morning that has um, bands showing Isaac almost headed. Well, into the Caribbean, into yes. The um, and it's really right. the forecast yeah. track. That's right. The forecast track um, is taking it into the central part of the Caribbean area. As we can, in this graphic, it's showing that it would be a Category 1 hurricane reaching to the islands of the Eastern Caribbean, but then it's expected to weaken. But um, and really, that fair. is what is expected to take place. It, okay. it should weaken when it gets into the Caribbean. Right now, um, although it was expected to strengthen, it has actually been weakening because there is some shear that's taking place, kind of breaking up the system in the upper atmosphere. Mm. And that is expected to intensify when it gets into the Caribbean. But I we mean, could see a little strengthening before then. I think that's something people don't understand, Evan, because mm -hmm. sometimes when you come on and you say, well, it's category one, yes. um, and then it, it changes, and then mm -hmm. it can easily go back to being a one. That's I know right. sometimes when you guys come and you talk about it, people say, mm -hmm. Evan, we kidding? Because <laughs> he me go I back. Am. Yeah, you know, but, but, but hurricanes are like that. That is right, because they go through these cycles, you yeah. know, and they wobble a lot as well. So they don't directly move in a straight line and mm -hmm. very predictable. If they're strengthening, they continue to strengthen. Um, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. These are kind of animals, you know, that, that have a way of just changing their shape and their pattern and their style as they move along. So right. we really just have to keep monitoring and see what this is doing. And you say, some people will say, why well, Evan Wikidi? Because, I mean, we will actually we could move to some kind of warning for Jamaica. As it is now, there is no warning. And right now, we're not even considering Isaac to be a threat. Okay. But take, for instance, the east coast of the United States being yes. threatened by Hurricane yeah. Florence, mm -hmm. even as we speak. Yeah. It could be a major hurricane or is expected to be a major hurricane when it reaches the land. And they have evacuated like a million people. Mm. Many of these persons, their houses will not even be significantly impacted. But safe in guards. safeguards be have to be taken. Yeah. You have to be proactive. You have to ensure that safety is your first concern. Get people out. If you come back to a nice house that is not affected, perfect. Mm -hmm. But there is the possibility that you could. Yeah. yeah, there are so many stories we see with folks who do not heed the warnings. And mm -hmm. then in the midst of the storm, you have first responders risking their lives to That's go and right. take people off of rooftops and, mm -hmm. and all the rest of it. That's we, right. we, I'm not sure we're getting any better with heeding warnings. Um, what, we, what I noticed that has been taking place is that there is some amount of, I don't know if I should call it panic or hysteria with the system. As soon as we see it and we start to see a track that's forecasting the system to move into the Caribbean. We get all panicky and we send around all kinds of messages that tell people all kinds of things that and might not up? be factual. Mm -hmm. So bear in mind that some of the messages you get are not 
factual mm -hmm. and you have to check with the real sources so to find out what is really right, happening. That's my next question. So mm -hmm. where do we go for authentic information so we don't fall prey to the misinformation? Well, many of the images that you see going around are real images. I mean, they come out of authoritative sources like the National Hurricane Center, for example. But how you interpret those graphics is important. So you have to also pay attention to your local authorities. Yeah. The meteorological mm -hmm. service is critical. Mm -hmm. The ODPEM is also critical. Mm -hmm. And so we have different roles. Of course, when we talk about the warnings, this is the meteorological service that will issue warnings. ODPEM takes it to the next level where we talk about what we need to do mm -hmm. in the event that this thing is really going to yeah. impact us. Okay. Tomorrow marks what, 30 years since, since Gilbert? 30 years since Hurricane yeah. Gilbert. How, how, you remember how, those days, Dana? Yes. Uh, I mean, and I barely, I was a child. <laughs> but um, <laughs> how, have we, how have we developed since then um, in terms of how we respond to hurricanes, in terms of, of our knowledge? A lot of people weren't prepared mm -hmm. for Gilbert. Yes, because, but, you know, yes, still better than Charlie, but we <laughs> right. weren't prepared. How but remember, we Gilbert occurred th 30 and th over 30 years after right. Charlie. So the memory in, peop in people's minds, we have never experienced a hurricane. We really want to know what this thing feels like. But now, we, we are going through so many threats. We have had so many threats over the past 10 years, mm -hmm. 15 years, that it's really almost like a way of life it's becoming because mm -hmm. we, we constantly hear that these things could threaten us, could affect us, and sometimes we actually get hit. We have been hit by Ivan, mm -hmm. we've been hit by Dean, we've been hit by, um, by Sandy, Sandy that moved mm -hmm. across us, and there are other tropical storms that have moved very close to us or over us. So the memory is now, yeah, we know what these things can do and we really better stay clear of them. Um, and that is a good thing. So the, just having been impacted so many times is moving us to another plane where these systems are concerned. Yeah. But we also have the media that's contributing a lot to the information being passed on, um, both the traditional and the social media, mm -hmm. that is really causing the messages to get around much quicker. In the time of Gilbert, there was no WhatsApp, no. there was no Facebook, mm -hmm. and so we, we, we are learning a lot more. We're mm -hmm. getting a lot more information now, and that's, that's a good thing, but yeah. we have to be careful we, about our sources. Lots of rain in Kingston yesterday. Darkness yeah. and rain. Mm -hmm. There's a forecast Montego for more of that today. Well. What's Yes. Yes. What's, ha what's happening? Well, there is a that it, we were impacted by a trough that was in the in the general area that was in the Western Caribbean, west of Jamaica, past Negril and over the waters to Cayman, mm -hmm. that side. Um, but it did impact us and it increased the instability during the afternoon. So we got the showers coming in and some thunderstorm activity. We heard some nice yes. thunder yes. <laughs> um, out there. So um, it's a good thing when we've been in a period of having some drought in some areas mm -hmm. so it's a good thing when we get rain and we're hoping that what Isaac will bring to us is more rain the the strong winds and the landslides and the flooding is not necessary but mm -hmm. we do want <laughs> to get some rain from Isaac yeah. it might not be a storm it might just be an area of low pressure moving close to us a trough maybe but at the same time it could bring us some rainfall mm -hmm. and we're looking forward to some Why the way we have moved right now we can't we can't manage the rain we want it you know but between the road work and the clog up uh, this and the, the flooding and the Because when I saw the rain yesterday, I said Chisholm Avenue, which is now one of the, the main areas, the, the sun are dealing with the rain very well. No, no. And vehicles shut off in that water sometimes. Yeah. So I was a little concerned yeah. mm -hmm. when I saw the so rain. So Evan, what do you yes. want people to know um, just moving into the next couple of days as we watch and track? Well, we need to Isaac. keep informed and, and try to get your information from reliable sources. Find out what the Met Service is saying. You can go to the Met Service website, metservice.gov.jm. Um, mm. uh, you can also... Um, there, there is Twitter that we mm -hmm. we facilitate. In, we pass information out via Twitter as well. The traditional media does get information from the Met Service and does pass it out. So, of course, pay attention to TVJ, pay attention to RJR and, mm -hmm. and, and stations Absolutely. that you know are bringing the information that is credible. Um, and be informed. Listen to what the ODPEM is saying. But when you get the information via WhatsApp, sometimes you really need to... Fact check. Mm -hmm. Find out if it's really mm -hmm. true Don't um, panic. before you just pass it on. Yeah. Don't panic yeah. at all. Actually, right mm -hmm. now, Isaac could very well break up. It's still weak and it's expected to weaken as it moves into the Caribbean yeah. area. So we're really not expecting that much of a punch from this system. We have some, not started something, any kind but of not anything big. 
Um, right. Maybe the showers. Exactly. But, and that's by storm. maybe Friday? Uh, well, the system <clears throat> is so ragged right now and very small. It's very difficult to predict exactly where it will go. It could move over Haiti. It could pass south of Jamaica. It could move into our waters. So we really just have to be monitoring right now okay. to see what is the latest information and know what it's planning to do. Gotcha. Okay. You heard it, folks. Reliably informed. Thank you very much. You're Sir welcome. Evan, Director of the Met Service Division, Evan Thompson with us this morning. Absolutely. We've got more and smile right after the break. Isaac, Isaac.